when you remove your carbon paper, you'll notice that you've got um, all those lines from your drawing and the carbon paper can be used as um, another layer in your artwork. You could cut out some of the objects uh, and they could become a part of a collage at a later time. So um, it's another treasure to layer into your artwork. Going back to your photograph, um, one of the um, interesting things is to look at all the different tonalities that are part of the drawing. And in my background, in the view through the window, are the um, different tonalities of the greens. There are um, all the very light shades and then the darks. And so to begin, I'm going to really focus on the light areas and then begin to build this up, both using uh, crayon, the pencil crayons that you have, and also your watercolors. And then I'm going to move further into the furniture and the brightness of the contrast of the uh, furniture against the background. I'm using some paper uh, and putting my uh, organza onto the paper because it'll be interesting to see what happens when the colors begin to bleed through. Um, there might be some interesting textures that might be a possibility to use as well. Um, I'm going to begin with um, a range of greens from my crayons and um, as I look at uh, the landscape I want to um, highlight some of those little white areas where the light is falling on the foliage and not cover everything but have those little sparkles of light left as white areas. I'm going to block in um, some of the light areas with the crayon. Um, it's interesting that a lot of this is going to blur through and be almost like a ghost on the back. And it's going to be much lighter than it appears. So if you want to use this as an underdrawing and then go back into the color with the pencil, with the, with the paint, that would work really well. Uh, I'm going to use a variety of different beans. And lighten them and just begin to layer over, mix those colors gently as I go. Little short, short, short sharp brush strokes and mixing the color right onto the organza so that the colors begin to mix and merge together. With the furniture and this very bright colour, I've got a range of colours which I'm going to change as I go along, not uh, having them exactly as they were in the photograph, but also experimenting with some of these darks and mixing the colours together. It's so nice to see these lovely blurry effects that are happening, and as this drawing develops, I might use those as well. So just enjoy this as you move from one area to the next and um, look forward to seeing what you're going to produce Phantom. as you Phantom. work. Phantom. And keep the phantom going as well. <laughs> 